Welcome to Intermat News, coming to you from Hall 5 at the Paris Exhibition Centre. I'm Christine Keyes. Heading the news at Intermat is the competition between top tier companies in the excavator market. Chinese companies Lugong and Sani are taking on the likes of Kamatsu and Caterpillar. Lugong's bringing out the 922 excavator. In itself, it's a 22 ton crawler excavator uh, in a market amongst many other machines. What's interesting is this is probably one of the most competitive sectors in the construction equipment sector. It's a huge volume market and Lugong's coming up against the, the big names, Caterpillar, Komatsu, Hitachi, Hyundai, all of these guys. Lugong's in there. That's a really, really very bold move. Some people thinking that uh, the market is a lot so demanding as before, but we think it also was an opportunity for us. Because at this moment, the customers want to have a cost-efficient solution way. So actually, Lugong provides a very good solution, an example for our customers. Caterpillar, Kamasu, the other existing international brands are the uh, good brands, but also Lugong now is uh, coming up in Europe very fast. You know, when we first invested in the excavator market, it was, it was not successful at all. And we couldn't even sell any, any uh, number in the Chinese market only. Forget about the, the, the worldwide, I mean, uh, overseas market. So what happens, we, we paid a lot of attention and we invested a lot in the excavator uh, market. In the year of 2010, Sunny was number two in the Chinese excavator market. That is after Kamasu. In the year of 2011, we got the first position in the Chinese market. We've sold almost, I think, 20 or 25,000 units in the Chinese market only. From the year 2010, when the annual report from Kamasu, they are saying they are not focusing Caterpillar as the biggest threat or competition. They're saying Sunny is the biggest threat or competition for Kamasu. Cummins launched a new engine today at Intermat 2012. Executive Director Hugh Foden explains the latest innovation, the new four-cylinder QSF 2.8 engine. For Cummins, it's the smallest uh, electro fully electronic engine we've ever introduced, covering 49 to 74 horsepower. It's a tier four final engine. Uh, it's very small, it's very compact. Uh, it does not have a DPF, it has a compact catalyst. We, we built around 200,000 engines last year for the construction market. Last, last year, it was a good year last year. Trimble is targeting small and medium-sized businesses with its GCS Flex system for controlling machines. We're here this week in Paris to show off our new products we have. We're in the construction technology business where we're showing off our new system around the off machine, ruggedized GPS receiver, the GCS Flex system which is designed for the small to medium contractor to get into construction machine control quickly, affordably, with no threatening features and also our connected machine which is all about the wireless interconnectivity between the machine, the office, the surveyor and the, and the survey crew so we can send data wirelessly and actually drive productivity gains and safety on the site. That's all for Intermat News today. You can catch our next show at 6pm Paris time tomorrow or check out all the latest product information on Intermat Live at 2pm. See you then. From wheel loaders to rollers and pavers, from first engineering concepts to years of rugged, trouble-free operation, Lugong is totally committed to your success. Lugong. Tough world, tough equipment.